Hey guys, Mr. Wahid Lohake back with another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, undervolt your GPU. For this you want it plugged in, but for now I've already done it, so I'm just going to show you what I did. So you want it plugged in, so you maximum maximum uh, amount of power can come through it. Okay, you want to download MSI Afterburner, which is that one there. Okay, I'm just going to run it. Okay. So... When you first open it, this is what it's going to look like. Alright, so you want to click on the graph and then you want to press Ctrl F. Okay, now a curve, a voltage curve will come up. So this is what your uh, graphics, what do you call it? Graphics card is currently using. Uh, yours will look like that curve there, like the top one. This is my edited curve as you can see. So where you wanna how you wanna work this out is I cut it off at so when I was playing games I had the overlay on so it shows up at the top what the maximum frequency it was hitting. So the max it was hitting so as you can see with high power it can hit up to nineteen hundred megahertz up to two thousand. But doesn't really need it barely touches it it doesn't stay at that level for ever it's just like spikes of it which is pointless so what you can do is go to a lower frequency uh, the best one for me was 1600 so I tried capping it off like that or 1700 1650 1700 so when you copy off like that it'll go down to this value so it'll be running at voltage as is voltage here. so because it caps off at that value it'll be running at the lowest there so 825 so we'll be running at 825 voltage milli millivolts compared to 1250 so that will lower your temperatures uh, it will also mean you don't thermal throttle as bad and uh, yeah your fans will run better as well because it'll be quieter so the main design flow on this Acer laptop is the coolers are on one side and the fan and I mean, the fans are on one side and the heatsink of the CPU and GPU are on the exact same side so this corner just burns up and it can't cool fast enough without all this stuff done and thermal replace done, CPU undervolt done, everything like that so you're not getting the performance out this laptop, out this chassis because of this laptop design. But that's how it is. So that's how you edit it. So you're just going to have to figure that out yourself for now. Uh, what, what's best for you. Uh, yeah. You can figure out uh, what speed it is meant to run at. Your CPU, your GPU, whatever. Okay, so you, I'll show you how to set up the overlay as well. So what you want to do here is it will give you another program that comes installed with it. So you want to accept it. It's called River Tuner Statistics Server. Oh, that's not even showing. There you go. Come on, there you go. Okay, so that will come installed with it. So what you do to set up the overlay for that is go to settings, on screen display. Now, first you want to go to monitoring. Yeah, it's not under monitoring, but I don't know if there's something here. No. Okay, so you just go to monitoring. And yeah, show in on, on screen display. So you choose which ones you want. So your CPU, GPU. I'll just load up a game so you can see how mine looks now. So it should come up unless... I've got a key binded anyway. So you can key bind it as well. Show you that in a second. Okay, so my keybind is that. Oh, no, never mind. I didn't have to click it either. It's already come up itself. There you go. So at the top, I've got the CPU temperature. Temperature usage and the speed it's running at. Uh, GTX 1650, which is the graphics card. Temperature it's running at. The usage and what speed it's running at. As you can see, because this is a very low powered game. It only needs 600 megahertz. 
so this can go up to 1650 as it's been capped at that but yeah you won't need to uh, intel hd graphics is using 14 percent right now so the majority is being done by the normal graphics card instead of the intel one which is good uh, gpu ram only 286 so this has a 4000 this graphics card has a 4000 uh, ram built in ram chip built in so when the games that i've seen that use the most is probably gta 5 nothing compares to that like of oh i need for speed they get about 3800 and max like i can never max it out because it just lags afterwards because uh you'll be hitting 99 percent cpu uh, gpu use because it's not fast enough but yeah you'll never hit gpu ram full of it because it just doesn't happen okay so that's your system ram six gigabytes currently in use so when i play gta 5 it goes up to about 13 gigs that's the most it's ever been because uh yeah but that means it runs very smoothly so that's my overlay there as you can see see through as well and all i have to do to take it off on and off is press that tab button not tab button divide button okay so all you want to do is put uh, whatever you want to use on here and then uh, whichever you want to use you just press on screen display that's it so how, that's how you check your cpu speed gpu speed as well so that's how you figure out what speed you want to copy at so play a few games for a couple of hours see what speeds you're able to hit and the speed that you're maximizing at that's where you want to put it to like 16 50 is the perfect speed for me because that's what it maximizes at. so that extra voltage is just extra heat that doesn't it doesn't need it and it's very stable at this because it's never had a problem okay so here the on screen display there's your hot key for it i put the number divide on which is that one yeah that's the one i put on for it that's why when you press that it shows on and off that's so that's pretty much it and yeah now i'll just show you quickly how to apply the as soon after you've done it you just have i think you just have to do this once as i've already put it on once so what you do is to save it you just click on number one and then when you want to uh, to apply it you press the tick profile one applied so now that's been capped as you can see it's been capped so that will perform very well now and for this laptop it's very good it works really well now so that's how you undervalue your gpu and uh, set up an overlay with the msi afterburner okay guys as you can see we're still hitting 90 degrees and stuff but that's on uh, what you call it that's when i leave it with no airflow so say i'm playing gta 5 the fans are underneath so it pulls in air from underneath so if it's flat like that it just starts to overheat a bit it doesn't get dangerous levels because it never hits pro shot pro shot is 92 degrees that's where it starts to slow down the cpu and stuff so we're never hitting a as you saw on the limits before we weren't hitting a thermal throttle so we're close to it but you'd never hit it even with the airflow blocked completely but when it's completely open like it is now and i'm playing games it touches about 60 degrees 60, 65 degrees if i'm playing something heavy like need for speed where everything cpu is high and gpu is high it'll hit about 80 85 degrees which is hot but it's still not dangerous so it's really good it's not bad especially for a poor thermal design like this on this laptop Okay, guys since i've undervolted the gpu on gta 5 we used to hit 85 degrees with the cpu and gpu and now we're not even touching 70 bro and i've been running the game for about 10 minutes now so it's doing really well as you can see gpu is still not hitting max thingy so this is really good under vaulting has helped a lot so anyways guys thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time goodbye